What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 2.31 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, three charges are situated at the corners of a square of side A, as shown in the figure. How much work does it take to bring another charge positive Q from far away to, and place it in the fourth corner? And uh, letter B, how much work does it take to assemble the whole, co whole configuration of four charges? Okay, so here we have four corners of a square wherein there are two negative charges and there's a positive charge. Okay, because of this configuration, okay, a positive charge, Q, that is supposed to be placed at this corner will experience attraction from these negative charges but repulsion to this negative uh, to this positive charge okay so all in all there will be uh, an overall attraction and resist uh, resistance or repulsion from these three car charges therefore it requires energy for us to be able to place this positive charge q to this corner and that is equal to the work done so that work done on the charge is actually given by the charge that's called it's Q4. So this is Q4, and that's uh, and then multiply it with the potential at this point. Okay. So what is this potential? Okay. So this potential V at this at this corner. It's just equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times sum of the potential of each of these charges. Qi, okay, divided by the distance of these three charges to our point of interest. It's called that Ri, where I is equal to 1 to 3. Okay, so let's break down this summation so this is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times so let's start with this charge so this is q1 and then this is q2 and this is q3 so for q1 this one this becomes negative q divided by the distance of this point to our charge so this is a and then plus positive q divided by the distance from this point to this point which is, because this is a square, the diagonal, this diagonal is equal to A squared of 2. And then for the fourth charge, a uh, third charge, this is negative Q divided by A. So all in all, this is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon naught A times 1 over square root of 2 minus 2 and we substitute it here so therefore this becomes q squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught a times 1 over square root of 2 minus 2 and this is the work done for in order for us to place this positive charge q to this point now, now what is now the total work done? So that, uh, or what, what will be the total work that it took for us to assemble this four charge configuration? So this is very simple because we just need to take the total work done, and then we just have to sum a series of pairs okay, or potential energies between. Uh, two uh, unique combination. Okay, so how do we do that? So let's call so let's call this charge number one, and this is uh, charge number two. Then this is charge number three, and this is charge number four. Okay, so let's do this total work done. So this is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught 
times okay the pair of 1 and 2 so this is q1 q2 divided by a plus the pair of 1 and 3 so this is q1 q3 divided by uh, the distance between a and uh, 1 and 2 uh, 1 and 3 so that's a square root of 3 plus 1 and 4 so this is q1 q4 divided by a and then we uh, repeat everything I'll do the rest of the pairs. So this is now Q2, Q3 over A plus Q2, Q3, uh, Q4. So this is Q4. Over A square root of 2. And then the last unique pair is 3 and 4. So this is Q3 and Q4 divided by A. Okay, so just do this. So this is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. Q1 and Q2 are both equal in magnitude. and But the, the sign is opposite. So this is negative Q squared over A. And then this one would be Q squared. over a square root of 3 plus q uh, minus q squared over a plus negative q squared over a plus q squared over a square root of 2 plus negative q squared over a and as we're going to evaluate it q squared and a can be taken out of the summation so this is q squared over 4 pi epsilon a times minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so this is minus 4 and then this is uh, oh sorry this should be negative uh, square root of 2 so this is square root of 2 Right, so this is now two or one over square root of two plus one over square root of two, so that's plus two over square root of two. And then further simplifying this, the total work done is now equal to q squared over two pi epsilon naught a times one over square root of two minus. And this is the results of problem 2.31 of Griffith's 4th edition. Okay, so I hope you learned something today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.